Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I insanely grew my glutes in one year, yes. One year, we made a lot of progress in one year. A lot of girls think you need to be doing hundreds of workouts to grow your glutes and that's not the case. You only need about four, maybe five glute workouts in a whole routine to really grow your glutes. And honestly, I would say stick to that routine. Maybe every couple of weeks you take away a workout and add a different one, maybe do that. but you really don't need to be switching up your glute routine you want to take about four or maybe five glute workouts and just really rock that out for about three months maybe four months and then see the progress you get from those i'm going to insert my one year transformation and yes this was just me no trainer nothing like that i did this all by myself i know it's unbelievable but i'm telling you it's a lot a lot of progress you can make okay it's so much progress you can make in one year if you really put your mind to it i did have a lot of ups and downs within my three-year fitness journey i gained a lot of weight i didn't want to gain not too much it wasn't crazy you know i didn't like it i wanted to change it so what i did is i cut down i cut down by a far bit and I got so much smaller. Before I gained weight, I got back to small, which is the same time last year. And then from there, I built up to how I am now. As I say, a lot of girls doing a lot of fitness videos and everything like that as far as growing their glutes. And you see the progress is not major. Now I know everyone's gonna be different, of course. And a lot of girls also come to me and they're like, yo, I've been doing these workouts, but I don't see the gains I wanna see. That's because the majority of you guys do not want to eat and you're scared of gaining any type of body fat, which is completely understandable. Trust me, I've been in both spots. I've been in both places where I wanted to gain weight and I also wanted to lose weight. So I know how it is, trust me. However, you're just gonna have to eat. If you wanna build any type of size to any part of your body, you're gonna have to eat. Anyways, you guys, I'm about to make breakfast and then we're gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna make something carb filled because I'm telling you, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that for this workout. I'm trying to burn a lot of calories and I also need energy and I'm super hungry, but I'm gonna make something simple like cream wheat and a bagel and just call it a day. A lot of y'all always ask, what do you eat, what do you eat? I'm telling you, I don't eat all the fancy um, fitness girl or fitness guy breakfasts. I just eat simple shit. The most simplest thing you can think of, I'm telling you, like cream wheat and a bagel. Maybe a boiled egg, I don't know, but... But anyway boiling some water right now and then we're gonna put the cream wheat in after it's hot but yeah i don't do i mean it's not bad like i don't do all the fancy avocado spreads and everything like that and i come for anyone if that's what you do great amazing i'm just i don't know i feel like i can it substitutes for that you know okay so first things first we always have to warm up doing our mobility workouts and stretches guys i'm telling you do not neglect this part of the workout like you have to warm up your hips open your hips up you gotta do all of that okay we don't need no injuries as we're working out i don't care how young you are make sure you're doing this and you're not skipping this step because when you have injuries you're gonna be sorry you're not gonna be able to work out at all and we don't want that we're gonna prevent that as much as possible so we started off doing hip thrust on this hip thrust machine i love this machine so much it really takes so much effort to set up the regular hip thrust but with this i can just put a weight on and call it a day for some reason one weight feels super super heavy i don't know why that is but i did start off with doing 15 reps and i think the next two sets was 12 reps and then the next set after that was 10 then 8 i did not record all the sets but i did do about five to six sets all together i personally like to move in a slow and controlled motion to get that mind to muscle connection we're really trying to build those glutes we want to feel everything i did speed it up on the last set because i wanted to just get the blood flowing the blood rushing to my glutes and yeah basically it was a super set So we did barbell RDLs. I did four sets of 12. I love this workout because it is a compound workout. So not only does it hit my glutes, but it also hits my hamstrings depending, depending on how I do them. You wanna make sure you're hip hinging when doing this movement. That is how you feel it in your glutes a lot. 
also make sure you're pushing from your heels on each rep you do okay that is another way to activate your glutes like crazy when doing this workout but first things first if the weight is too heavy for you guys make sure you lower that so your form can be perfect okay your form needs to be elite all right like this is why right now i'm not even doing 135 you know i just said i was gonna do something light today and really just give it my all and perfect my form so i could really feel it in my glutes instead of struggling with the weight so now we're doing these treacherous as bulgarian split squats i absolutely hate this workout so much and i say this all the time however it is one of the best compound workouts for building some juicy glutes and quads i don't know what possessed me to hold two weights in my hands while doing this workout but today i was using uh two 26 pound kettlebells and i did four sets of 10 yes four sets of 10 i don't know why but hey i want the i want the glutes okay i want the juicy glutes and the juicy quads and that's what i'm working towards honestly i wasn't even gonna build my glutes anymore but i was like okay why not build one more inch like it's not gonna hurt me another tip while doing this workout make sure you're leaning forward a little bit to really engage those glutes and also you're pushing from your heels with all of these workouts make sure you are pushing from your heels because that is how you best activate the glutes All right, lastly, we have hip abductions. I did about five sets total. I did four sets of 12, and then the last set, I just repped out. I did not record all the sets. As always, I just record the first set and like the last set so you guys could see. But with the last set, I did do a super set, and I was kind of struggling because the weight was too high, so I had to lower the weight. But yeah, we got it done anyway. So that is all for today, guys. I really hope this video helped you out and I hope you could grow your glutes with this routine. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more workout content. Bye, guys.